Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us learn about how we can add a node at some specific index of our link list. So the end user will give us an index in our link list at which we want to add some value. So suppose this is our link list where we are having five nodes with data 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And let us say we want to add node with data 7 at index 2. So I'm assuming an index argument for our link list. And let us say the first node has an index of 0, second one has an index of 1 and so on. Now I want to add 7 at index 2. So the end result that we want is our link list should look something like this. 1, 2, 7 and 3, then 4 and 5. So the node with data 7 should come at index 2. And all other nodes should shift one position to the right like this. So as to get this. So node with data 3 will now come at index 3. Node with data 4 will now come at index 4 and node with data 5 will now come to index 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now here we are having 6 nodes. Previously we had 5 nodes. Now let us understand the approach for achieving this. The very first step we have to do is we have to check whether the index that the user gave us is a valid one or not. Suppose the user gave us an index of minus 1 or say minus 3 then we know that the index is out of bounds because we know our indexing is ranging from 0 to 4 and this is an invalid index. If I say index of 5 for our starting link, link list, you can see that we are not having an index of 5. So we cannot add a node at index 5. We want an index that ranges or that lies within the bounds of 0 and 4 for this link list, right? And this is exceeding that. And this is less than 0, so these two indices are out of bounds. And that is why these are termed as invalid indices. So for these indices that lie outside the bounds of our link list, we'll simply return without doing anything. Now suppose the user gives an index of 2 and a value of 7, so a value of 7. So let us understand how we can transform our present link list into this by its algorithm. So here is our link list 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 indexing from 0 to 4. So the user gives us an index of 2 and a value of 7. Now you can see that the index that the user gave us is lying between the bounds of 0 to the size of our link list minus 1. So in this case we are having a valid index at which we can add a node. So the very first step is to create a node. So let us do this. First we create a node. Now in that node we need to add this value. So let us add 7. Next we also want a node that is sitting at an index one less than the index at which we want to insert the new node. So we want to insert the new node at index 2. So what is the previous node that is sitting at an index 2 minus 1 which is this one right. So at index 1 we are having 2 which is the previous of the node which is sitting at index 2, right? And at index 2 we want to insert 7. So for this we will define a function get node at when we will implement this algorithm from scratch and that will return us the node at some specific index. So we want the node that is sitting at index 1. So once we have this node, let us term this as previous node. So prev node. So this is our prev node and this is our node, right? So now what we want to do is we need to make the next of this node as the next of the previous node. So the next of previous node is what? It is 3. So we now want that the next of our node should become the next of previous node. So we can do this by using this arrow which means that the next of our node is now the next of this node. So both the previous node and our node is pointing to 7 using the next links and the next step is to break this link. Now we need to break this link so that 7 can come in our link list. So it's very simple. We need to change the next of the previous node that we are having to point to this node and this step will break this link and now the next of previous node will become our node like this. So once this node makes into the link list the size of our list will get incremented by 1. So current size is 5. Now it will become 6 and even the indexing will change. So now at index 2 we are having 7. At index 3 we have 3. At index 4 we have 4. 
at index 5 we have 5 right so this is how we can add a node at some specific index that lies within the bounds of the linked list so without wasting any more time let us head over to visual studio code to see how we can implement this so i'm back in my visual studio code let us create a function to add a node at some specific index this function will take on a value that you want to add in the new node and the index at which you want to add the node at so we will assume that index 0 represents the index of the first element of our linked list and so on so void add at and this takes on an index and some value that you want to add at that particular index the very first step is to check whether the index that is given to us is a valid one or not that is whether the index lies between the bounds of 0 to list size minus 1 both inclusive so if the index at which you want to add a node is negative or or it increases or exceeds the size of the list then let us print to the terminal index out of bounds and immediately return index out of bounds and return but if the index lies between the bounds of 0 to the size of the linked list minus 1 then in that case we have a valid index at which we can add a new node so let us follow our usual steps by first creating a new node so node node new node and then let us add data to the node that we just created so node.data and let us add the value that the user gave us to the node next as i explained in the diagram we also want the node that is sitting at an index one less than the index at which we want to insert the new node so for that let us define a method to get the node at an index one less than the index at which we want to insert the new node so let's name this method as get node at and this will return us the node at some specific index right so we want the previous node and we are going to define a method get node at this will take on an index which is one less than the index at which we want to insert the new node so let us go right above and define this function so right here let us define the method get node at and this method will take on the index for which we want to get the node so let us make the method private and this will return us a node so get node at and we can access this private method only from within the class from our add at method and not from outside the class directly because it is a private method so int end and the very first thing to check is to ensure whether we do have a valid index passed as the argument or not so if the index for which you want to get the node is negative or it exceeds the size of the list then let us print to the terminal index out of bounds so if ind is less than zero or it exceeds the size of the list then again we can print index out of bounds and we can simply return null because for an invalid index we are not going to have any node so we can simply return null now if we do have a valid index that lies within the bounds of the linked list then in that case we just have to iterate over our linked list from the head of the list right to the index for which we want the node so let us define a ptr reference and this points to the head of the linked list so the logic here is to reach this index using a for loop starting from the head of the linked list so now we need a for loop from 0 to the index for which we want the node so for int i as 0 i less than i and d and i plus plus and let us increment the reference to make it move over the nodes of the linked list one at a time until we reach the index for which we want the node so ptr is ptr dot next now once we have reached the index for which we want the node our ptr reference is also sitting on that node so we can return ptr which gives us a reference to that node sitting at the index i and d so return ptr like this so let me explain this code with the help of the example that we took so here for this example you can see that we want to get the node at index 2 minus 1 so which is this one so for this we first check the index that is given to us right here so here we are given an index of 1 so we want to get the node at index 1 so we first check whether the index is valid or not the index is indeed valid because it lies within the bounds so let us understand the get node at method for our example so in the start we were having this list so 1 2 3 4 5 and we wanted to add a value of 7 at index 2 and the indexing goes from 0 to 4 so since we want to add a node at index 2 
we first need to get the node that is previous to this node which is this one and this is sitting at index 1. So using this exact method we can get the node at an index 1 less than the index at which we want to insert a new node. So we want 2, right? So as you can see that the index 1 lies within the bounds of the linked list. Therefore this check will not run. And the very first thing that we do is to set up a PTR reference on the head of our linked list. So PTR like this. And now we want to reach the index IND to get the node that is sitting at this index and the node that is sitting at the index IND and this index IND is one less than the index at which we want to insert the new node. So we want to insert the new node at index 2. So to get the previous node we are going to iterate till index 1 for this example, right? So index IND is 1, right? So first time the for loop runs, we check whether 0 is less than 1, which is true. So we increment the pointer to move to the next node. So pointer gets incremented and it comes right here. Then we check whether 1 is less than 1, which is false. So we are not going to increment the pointer now. And therefore, now we can simply return the PTR, which is pointing at this node. And therefore, we have now got the node that is sitting at the index 1 less than the index at which we want to insert the new node and the index at which we want to insert the new node was 2 which we discussed before right so this is how we can get our previous node and once we have our previous node then we follow these steps that we had discussed before to add a node at some specific index which in this case is 2 so i hope my explanation was crystal clear let us switch back to visual studio code and let us code down below so now we have the previous node after which we want to insert the new node. So the next step is to make the next of the node that we just created to the next of the previous node. So node that we just created, its next will point to the next of the previous node. Lastly, we need to make the next of the previous node to point to the node that we just created. So previous node dot next points to the node and finally let us increment the size of the linked list because now we have a new node in our list so size plus plus so let us try this out so linked list dot add at index 2 and let us change this according to our example so add at start first we should add 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 and this should also be add at start for our example so this should give us 1 2 3 4 5 as we are having in our example. Now at the index 2, I want to add a value of 7. And let us call the display method on our link list. So let us compile the code and run the file to see what we get. So java c linked list dot java. And then to run the file java linked list. So now you can see our initial linked list was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As in the example, now once we run this method, add at index 2 a value of 7. So at index 2, you can now see we are having a value of 7. So this works good. So let us move forward to the next video where we will discuss how we can remove a node at the start, at the end of the linked list and at some specific index. So let's catch up in the next one.